Hello everyone, in this video we are gonna see how to interact with the Croc API and how we can use this into our custom LLM application. So it was on trending right now, everyone is talking about Croc API because of its speed. It is uh, as much as faster as compared to the traditional chatbot and, and let me show you a demo. So what is a generative AI, let me click on this and uh, it will generate a response for you in less than a second. So why it was that much fast because it was using the LPU it is the latest technology especially designed for the LLM application so here we go you can read this PDF for more uh, depth detail about this technology so the first thing that we need to do is create our API and uh, here you can see this website link and here you can create your custom API so all you need to do is just click on this create API name your API click on submit and it will create an API for you and we need a hugging face uh, API as well because we are not gonna use paid uh, embeddings from OpenAI we are gonna use the free ones from hugging face because lots of um, person did not have the chat GPT pro model so it was hard for them to create the embedding so that's why I have uh, preferred to use this free embedding that will also working fine but if you have a chat GPT paid account then you can use the paid, uh, paid embeddings of OpenAI as well so here what I have I have created a Grok project token so all you need to do is just go into your profile and go into your settings and it will show you this dashboard and inside this dashboard you just need to click on the XF token and it will create the um, token for you the process is same all you need to do is just click on create token and it will create the token for you so here we go now let's go into our uh, collab notebook and let's see how we can create a custom uh, LLM model with the help of Croc here and uh, is it able to respond to this as much faster as it was showing into this interface or not so let's go into your notebook so I didn't do anything over there I just set my environment keys and install these dependencies and import these libraries so uh, make sure you have in the install these dependencies before running this code and set up the uh open uh, this uh, api keys as well so uh, and i have created a folder over there which is name as pdf because i'm gonna create an q a application in which you can interact with your personal data um i'm using my search papers you can use your uh, pdfs or um, databases whatever you want to use so here we go let's create our embeddings for our prompt and model so let's declare a variable over there embeddings is equals to I'm gonna use hugging face embedding as I declare over there and uh, this is the auto suggestion I have enabled in my notebook you can do this as well so because I have spent my lot of time to do this coding project so that's why I have enabled this extension so it will save my lot of time to for by, by the auto suggestions you can remove this path because we need this on, only I'm using L mini LM L6 V2 model for uh, my embeddings you can use any model that you prefer now let's create the LLM. LLM is equals to now I'm using chat grok so let's declare it chat underscore grok and uh, inside the chat grok let's see what we need to provide you can uh, press control shift space for this talk string and you can read what this function is expecting from you so when we go in one one variable key so we already set up the grok API key so we can pass it over there so let's type over there is grok underscore api underscore key and we need to uh another bar. it doesn't matter it will be in upper case and will be in lower case which are totally fine uh crop and uh, here we need to pass the uh model as well that we are going to use so let's uh, declare the name so we have a model name over there it was uh by default in the suggestion assign me gpt uh, dash 3.5 dot turbo but you need to select the model from there so you can select multiple model uh, you can see multiple models over here so the Grok uh, is providing us Llama 3 mixture and uh, it will also provide as a gamer model as well so right now I'm gonna use these, uh, this Llama 3 8 billion model you can select any model uh, based on your requirement so make sure you have typed the name correctly otherwise it will gonna show you error so let's type L Llama 3 dash 8 billion dash 8192 let's recheck it 8 billion 81921 that's it okay let's run this code and let's see if we got any other and it was running successfully which is good for us now let's create a prompt template as well and we are going to use the rag 
uh, prompt template so what we need to do is just type over there is prompt and uh, is equals to we are going to use chat prompt uh, chat grok uh, chat form template and here I need to type dot and form and uh, we'll just press our solution and we go for a template and inside this I need to uh, define my prompt and the doc string is there as well so you can read this uh, for better understanding always read the doc string of the functions it will solve the lots of issues that you have because you know what the parameters that you need to provide over there so now uh, you can uh, assign anything to this so let's say i need to type over there and uh, here you can type anything that you want so now uh, let's type something over there uh please provide the answers based on the given prompt and then let's type over there please provide the accurate answers only based on the given prompt so um, in a rag we use a ginger template engine so here we go it was automatically suggest me that you need to type context over there so the ginger and ginger template engine if you are familiar with flask then you know what is ginger template engine is so uh, we can create the starting and ending point for this as well if you want a detailed video on RAG, how to create RAG applications, then let me know into the comment section. I will definitely create this for you as well. So you can create a starting and ending point for this context as well, or you can um, use only this uh, um, context into this prompt as well. So uh, in question, you can do this as well, or we can do something like this as well. So uh, we can do something like this as well. Where let's tab over here and we can type questions questions and uh, instead of answer here we can type input and um, there we go and uh, it is it is enough for now this this prompt is just for the demo purpose so this is how you can create a rag prompt you can uh, make it more professional as per your requirement so let's let's run it and uh, let's create or let's create our vector embedding over there so the embeddings that I have created over there is for, for the model and I am creating the embeddings for the text so let's create the embeddings let's uh, type def vector embeddings and uh, uh, we need to uh, assign the path into this function if you want to uh, assign the path into uh, when you call the function then you can do this as well or you can uh, declare the path over here as well so it depends upon your data directory and uh, the directory that I am gonna use is pdf so uh, I'm gonna pass this directly into this in my part of PDFs and you can also um, limit the documents as well so max documents is equal to let's say 50 and uh, these these are optional uh, parameters uh, the PDF path is the compulsory that you need to define our max document is depends upon you if you want then you can otherwise you can skip this out now let's create our embedding first so let's create our embeddings and we are going to use the same model that we have declared over there uh, make sure you use the same model as well otherwise it will going to show you the error because the embedding process for each model may be different and depend upon the model that we are using so we need to load the pdf file so data loader here we go and the next step that we need to uh, do is the document data loader yeah and load uh, now here you can uh, use these max documents as well so we can type this out over there max document if you don't want to use this you can skip this part but it depends upon you again i have shown you the uh, both scenarios so now i have limited out the document size over there as well so text splitter the cursive character text splitter is strength size is 100 that means it will uh, let's say i have 1000 uh, 10000 words into my documents uh, it will split the document into each iteration will be in 1000 words and the overlap is assigned 0 over the year so let's keep it to 200 so that means it will contain the uh, uh, words of the previous chunk as well so here we go this is the uh, text splitter now uh, text is text splitter split documents we are this code if we find, oh, okay so you can uh, return the db variable as well or you can return these uh, files directly over there as well it depends upon you let's return it directly and uh, let's run this and if it have any error we can check this out as well 
So let's create a variable called vectors and uh, vectors is equal to vector embedding. Let's run this out. And uh, let's see if it's run perfectly and here we go. But it's working fine. So let's let's uh, let's try to talk with our PDF. Let's ask some questions and let's uh, uh, let's import time as well. So we can check out the process time that it will take. And let's type over there user underscore input and it will be equal to input uh input let's type it over there and start in your prompt and uh, we're gonna sign the condition as well if user underscore input then we need to create a score chain here equals to create a retrieval chain vectors as a retrieval uh you can do this into this as well or you can do it into a separate uh line as well let me show you how you can do this into the separate line so it will make more sense for you so uh we doesn't need to do this over here so let's remove this for now the first thing that we need to do is create stuff document chain so here we go now it was showing us the accurate suggestions so here we go what we need to do uh, is uh, what is mean by this is the LLM is equal to LLM you can uh, simply use it directly as well and prompt is prompt so from where I'm getting this LLM and prompt so this is the prompt that I'm using into this uh, document chain and the LLM is this one that we have declared over there that means the LLM which is working for us behind the scene is the croc API LLM so the same LLM model that we have declared into this uh, notebook and what LLM uh, what model we are using is the Llama 3 so keep this in your mind as well so we have created the retrieval the document chain successfully and uh, the next step that we need to do is create our retrieval chain and uh, first let's create our retrieval then we will create our retrieval chain so retrieval is equals to we need the same bending model so we can use the variable vectors as a retrieval and this is the time start and uh, time ends it was showing us there uh, but we need to create our retrieval chain as well so let's create our retrieval we do not depend on this addition all the time sometime it was good sometime is a little bit irritating as well so retrieval chain create retrieval chain and it will take the retrieval and uh, uh, document chain we doesn't need to provide the LLM into this as well so here we go now we have the uh, start time over there as well and uh, let's create a response now so response we need calls to and in the response we need to create a retrieval the tribal chain dot in work and in the in work you should link to pass a dictionary so in the docs it will also show you this over def in work input uh, transfer my single overlay and input and I listen to the variable that you need to provide so the default variable that we need to provide is input and let's provide it input and uh, after that you need to provide your uh, prompt which is now the user prompt so let's provide it over there so here we go and uh, hopefully if we didn't do any mistake it will work fine for us but uh, let's print out the uh, response time as well so let's print out over there print so we can use the strings over here and uh, response response time response and here we got the response and uh, we can print out the response time into this as well response and for and response time and uh, here we can bring this switch time dot process so i and we can do the same thing over there as well find dot time instead of time dot time we can do this time dot process so we can check out the process time time dot process and this is the response let's print the response into the next line instead of this so let's come out over there 
and uh, yeah, insert this for response. Let it go, and we can pass the array into this as well. And uh, here we go, we can do launch. So finger cross, let's run this code. Shift and enter. And uh, we need to ask something about our PDF. So we have plant disease detection PDF and skin disease. Let's ask about plant. So what is plant disease detection? Hit enter and uh, here we go. We got the response. So based on the given context, the answer to the question is answer to the question what is plant disease detection is plant disease detection refers to the process of identifying and diagnosing the ways which is affected plants and this is the detail of the question so which is uh the as expecting it was the correct answer so this is how you can use the grok the uh, grok api and you can check it out those points time as well it is much faster as i think so this is how you can do this as well so this it, that's uh, that's it for this video if you want to see more content like this so please do subscribe to our channel or if you want any specific video into rag applications or a very popular framework of rag which is haystack so if you want a detailed uh, series on this then do comments and you can also reach me out on my linkedin profile i have mentioned the link link uh, link into my uh, description as well so that's it for today if you like this video please hit the like button and do follow our channel for to see more content like this thank you very much